Cool. 888, uh, fair candy swap. Alice and Bob have candy bars of different sizes. Uh, a sub I is the size of the I have candy bar, uh, and B sub J is the size of the J candy bar that Bob has. Since they're friends, they would like, ex like to exchange one candy bar each, so that after the exchange, they both have the same total amount of candy. The total amount of candy a person has is the sum of the sizes of the candy bars they have. Okay. If there are multiple answers, you're going to be done all of them. I just guarantee an answer exists. Okay. What, what am I returning again? Well, an answer, eight of service assigned, let's change them. Okay. Uh, and size of A and B is up to 10,000, so you can't do anything and query, which is fine, but uh, okay. So let's take the sum first. Uh, so then we could find the delta, right? Um, yeah, okay. And then now, um, and then now we could find the delta, which is a sum minus b sum. And then I think I just want to hash uh, one of the arrays and then go through the other one, kind of how, kind of how you do similar, similar to how you do just like two hash table or two lists, I guess, uh, and kind of like match them. Except for now, you want to match them with an offset. So I think that's fine. Don't, just have to be careful about the size to make sure you're doing it correctly. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I think you want to be f optimal. You would like to optimizations on which everyone's smaller, but I think I'm okay for now. Uh, uh, and because so actually this could be a set because you actually only need one. So okay. Uh, so I could just this right. Is that a thing? Uh, okay. And then now for number in B, uh, now we could check whether, uh, just to make this easier, I don't have to worry about a sign, but um, okay, if, so we just have to check if number plus delta is in A. If it is true, then we just return the plus delta and the number, maybe minus delta. I think th these are little. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So maybe it is minus delta. Or I could just do this. Signs are hard. Well, let me put in. The test cases still wish they have like a one button just like put everything in there really test nothing but typing uh okay they get something wrong including hmm oh so it's a designer oh this is the sum no well, that's right right Oh, because it's sum divided by two. Okay, uh, because it is four minus two, so it's two. So yeah, okay. Oops. I should make a script. I guess they 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 are the example case format is not always consistent. So. Um, so I think that's what I would, I think I, eh, but it's okay, but it would maybe be better. Uh, cool. Okay. So that was pretty, uh, straightforward. Yeah. I mean, I think the key note here, uh, it's kind of combining a few things that you might have seen while practicing. One is kind of, uh, just, uh, the big one is kind of like, um, you know, uh, find all elements in one array that is, uh, also in another array in linear time. And then once you do that, uh, you just have to make sure. In this case, try to figure out how to calculate the delta, um, also in linear time. So then, uh, so then after that, it just becomes like that kind of uh, matching problem. Um, 
Yeah, so definitely like, I mean, I, I actually dig this poem. Uh, maybe it's a little bit slightly on the easy side. I mean, it is an easy poem. So I think that's an accurate uh, difficulty for a well, description of the difficulty. Um, but I would say, um, but yeah, I mean, I think this is a non-trivial, I mean, I guess it depends on who you ask as always, but, but like it's a, uh, like it's it's better than asking the like hey given two lists uh what what numbers are the same right uh so you could because you could easily do this and um and just to make sure we go over the complexity this is linear time linear space um for we you know because these things are linear these things are linear and this thing is linear for space so uh, that's kind of the complexity if you have to talk about it but yeah overall um I think the hard part uh I mean. I think this is one of those problems that I like. I mean, I don't, like I said, I think this problem is a little bit easier than I um, uh, prefer, but I think these are the problems that I actually like to give um, in that, like, like you have, you know, as a candidate, you have all the tools for this problem, uh, but it's a little bit, it's slightly different and it uses all the things that you already have. So, like, like I'm not, I don't like asking people for, like, I don't know, some, random algorithm like even Cadane's algorithm is a little I don't know a little weird that like if you haven't seen it before it's really hard uh and here like eh, you should be reasonably expected to know how to look up stuff in the hash table and matching them and stuff like this um so yeah so that's why I have for this one I think I mean I actually do like it oh, and I guess a lot of people do like this one as well so yeah cool